Okay, so we are going to make the witch's hat. Um, we'll do the brim first. So you want to just pull off a piece, pick out any little debris pieces might be in there. Got a couple little debris pieces in line. All right, so you can see I just kind of grabbed a wad and put it on my phone. A little bit more still in there. All right, so you're going to want to kind of make it look like a circle. You can see I'm kind of just molding it into the circle, and then you're just going to start belting it down. kind of see the basic shape so it's a little bit wonky. So I can kind of see where I need to pull it together a little bit more. again. Alright, so this end obviously needs some work. You can, I, I don't know if you can tell, but you can see through it a little bit so you know that you're not done felting. Well that, and it's kind of floppity. So I kind of come into the side, I don't know how, if you can see that I'm like coming into the side. Remember what angle you go in is the angle you pull back out, but this is just to kind of condense it a bit more. start coming in sideways again. Oops.
there. Almost have that base done. I can still see through it a little bit, like right here. sideways again, kind of bring that in. Just trying to go around the corner so it's not so wonky. Now if after doing all that you still have spots where you can see through, just take a little bit and let me gauge where I can see through and then put that over the spot and just belt down over that. You know, it's like problem solved because some areas are thicker than others. See a couple areas over here. So I'm just going to fold that whole little section right there. And belt that right down. That's better. And then I got a little bald spot right there, too. So you can definitely see that we're getting to have, look more like a hat brim. Now if you feel like it's too big, you can just pull some off and then reform it. beauty of it. So you can just yank it off and or if it's densely done you can cut it off and then you can kind of just pull it and shift it and make it work. Okay, 
So we've got the brim. Now we've got to do the cone top. So you're going to take, pull off a piece again, maybe like a handful or so. And then you're going to tightly roll it. Okay, so there's the start. So obviously it's not quite thick enough, especially when you're going to felt it down. So grab some more. We're just going to build up the bottom here. Kind of. Alright, so I'm going to add it just to the bottom. This is the top. And then just roll it around just the bottom. Okay, and then a little more on just the bottom. And I mean, I'm sure you're like, wow, that looks really big, but you gotta remember we're gonna felt it. Okay, so just start felting it down. A little debris there. Pull that out. Okay, so I've got it. I just needled around the whole thing one time. I'm going to start working on the top a little bit more. Just keep going round and round and round. Now I like my top to have like a little bend to it. It makes it look a little bit wizardy, but I think it's kind of cute. Alright, so that's the start of my little bend there. you can see the start, now you're going to just keep felting downward. stuck in there. Just got my finger. Okay. So I'm gonna 
actually go down some to compress this a bit more. I kept, if you've noticed, I've kept the bottom unfelted because that'll make it easier to connect that. So I'm actually going to kind of push this down and then felt straight down to help compact this some more. So kind of That part's being weird, so I'm just going to kind of, I can always add more to that later if I need to. Okay, so you can see it's starting to look more appropriate. And then you put that on there. And then you'll start to felt down. Alright, so my loose bits, I'm going to actually just felt straight down. Like I will try to get it. So you can see this part where it's um, loose, I'm just going to felt straight through to connect the hat to the base. So you can see the little, if I turn it sideways maybe, can you see it's got like furry bits, I don't know if you can see it, but anyway. That's how you know that it went through, so then you'll just gently go back around, making sure you don't stab yourself on the inside there. And okay, now we want to make sure that this is on good, see it's not on all that great yet, so we're going to go back around again. So just, I just push it down a little bit just to make sure that we're getting it in there really good. Let's 
So there's a bunch of furry bits right here again. And I'm just gonna gently It's on there pretty good. Okay. Okay. So, no. Let me see, so it's attached all the way around. And then if you're concerned that it's gonna come up, if you do this like that, then you know exactly where to attach it very gently so you don't hurt yourself. Go around. Okay, and then we know it's like really on there, really good. And then you can see um, that I've got the curve, so you can just manipulate it a little bit more to make it look the way that you want. So if you smush it down a little bit, that'll do that. And then you can just kind of felt it a little bit more to really Hold that if you want that. You could just have it go straight up if you wanted to. Now if you look at that and you say, eh, I don't feel like the base of the um, cone is big enough, then you can just wrap some more of the batting around and needle felt it in place. But you can see you've got that nice triangular shape, which is what you want. Okay. You also have the option to add a moon and stars if you want to. So you just take a little piece and then I roll it in my finger so I have more control. That's more than I need. All right, oops. And then you're gonna wanna pick a spot on here. So as I'm putting it on here, I'm seeing, okay, well, it's still a lot bigger than I need. And just pull off a little bit more. All right, so then you can decide do you want your moon to go that way or do you want your moon to go this way? I think I want my moon to go this way. So I'm gonna actually, I don't know if you can see that, I'm like twisting and then I'm gonna poke in. Okay, so I've got that there, so then I'll just start curving this around. And I'm just gonna gently poke it around. Okay. And then I'm gonna twirl it again so I can get that end in there good. So then you're just gonna keep going around until you've got it all attached and how you want it to look. And I like to just go in on the side underneath there a little bit. Kind of shape it a little bit more. Okay. 
her. And then, voila. And now some of those little pieces you pulled off, you can just roll into a little ball to be your stars. A little ball there. And I can say, hmm, I'll go put a star right there. star. Let's make another piece. And maybe we'll put that one here. These are completely optional. You don't have to um, put that on there if you don't want to. And you can add more stars if you want to do that. And then now you just make some little fine tweakings until you're ready to um, move on to putting this on the witch.